let's say that we had a tilted cylinder, like a clear cylindrical glass, that was of a certain height, h, and of a certain diameter, d. And let's say that we filled the glass or cylinder with water so that the water covered half the base and touched the bottom lip at the top of the cylinder. Our goal is to determine the volume of water in the glass. To do that, we can break up the volume into very thin triangular slices. Let's start by drawing a triangular slice that starts at the center of the base and then touches the edges of the water. And let's label the edges of the triangle A, B, and C. Now let's create another triangular slice that starts to the right of C and touches the edges of the water. And we'll label the edges uh, D, E, and F. And we know that the area of a triangle is half the base times the height. So the area of triangle ABC would equal the half the base, and the base in this case would be A to B, times the height, which would be A to C. And we know that AB, along the bottom there, that distance will be the same distance as the height of the cylinder. So we can substitute AB with H, the height of the cylinder. And we know that AC is going to be equal to the radius of the base. So we can write this as R, if you like, uh, as the distance here, being the radius. So we can substitute AC um, with R. Similarly, we can find the area of EFD. So the area of triangle EFD would equal half the base, and the base in this case is from E to F along here. So we write this as EF, and the height would be E to D here along here. So we can write this as E to D. But how do we then determine EF and ED in terms of H and R? Well, we know that the corresponding angles of ABC and EFD are the same. Therefore, they are similar triangles, and therefore there's a relationship between the sides of these triangles. Let's draw these triangles. We'll have the big triangle here, ABC. And the little triangle here, EFD. And we know that AC is the radius of the cylinder, and AB is the height of the cylinder. And because these are similar triangles, we know that the ratio of the sides of the triangles are in the same proportion. So, ED is to R as EF is to H. And let's say that we wanted to isolate EF, so we could cross multiply. And what we would get is H times ED divided by R equals E to F. 
So what we have is a relationship between sides ED and EF of the triangle EFD. And what we could do is substitute this value of EF back up into the um, formula for the area of triangle EFD so that the area formula uh, is represented by just one variable. And when we do that, we get the area of EFD is equal to one-half EF, which is H times ED over R times ED. And when we multiply this out, we would get the area EFD is equal to H over 2R times ED squared. So what we have in the end is a formula for the area of the triangular slice in terms of the constants H and R and the one variable ED. And we can see that this area formula would be similar for any triangular slice that we draw to the left or right of C. And therefore the volume can be determined by integrating um, over the interval from the left, far left, to the far right of C. That is, we would integrate from here all the way to here.